Okay, hey guys, so I have a few moments where I can come and record this video that I've been wanting to do since I've been on, since I came back from my vacation. Um, so I'm going to be doing my July empties because I wasn't going to be doing July favorites or any kind of favorites just because sometimes they're going to be the same favorites and I do tend to buy a lot of stuff throughout the month that I like to try and sometimes they become empties. So I'm a product junkie by the way. So I'm going to get through some stuff. I only have a couple makeup items and the rest are like hair care and face care kind of products and about a couple like maybe makeup remover kind of product. So I'm going to start with the makeup ones and now these I have been using as makeup bases and kind of like just quick out the door eyeshadows. And the first one is the MAC Paint Pot in Ruminesque and it's almost empty Well, it's getting there and it's just a really pretty color. I don't know if you can see that, but it just comes out very iridescent on the hand and I like to use it as a quick shadow if I just want to go out the day and I want some kind of color in my eyes but I don't want it to be too dark. So I kind of put that on, it stays all day, it doesn't crease and I love it. The second one is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Bad to the Bronze. I love this color, it's your typical bronzy brown color and you can see I've already hit the glass on the bottom. I use this one the most because I do tend to put a lot of brown, smoky, taupe kind of eyes, eye color on my eye, eyelids. So I love this and I definitely will probably will be repurchasing this in other different shades because I know they have a ton of other colors now. I've been refraining from buying them just because there's so much and so many to choose from that I want to buy them all. So then I'm going to get, well let's do the one other makeup I guess would be. So I've been using waterproof mascara for the past month because I find that I have really oily eyelids and if I don't wear waterproof mascara towards the end of the day I get these little black streaks on the top of my eyelids and that's kind of gross like you have to seriously wonder if my uh, mascara is going to run onto my eyelids seriously am I that greasy I think so so I didn't have any waterproof mascara because my waterproof mascara is so hard to remove so I didn't have any remover for it. I only have the normal kind because I typically don't wear waterproof mascara. So I was thinking about the ingredients in waterproof mascara remover. And typically they are pretty oily. So I'm thinking, I have baby oil. Let's see if baby oil works. And it did. And it worked wonders. So if you don't have waterproof mascara remover, just like makeup remover, if you have baby oil, it's almost as the same thing. So I've been using this little Johnson's baby oil thing that I've kept in my cabinet for I don't know how long. And it works just as well as the regular makeup remover for waterproof. So now going on to hair care products. So while I was in Albuquerque on my vacation, I needed some kind of like shaving cream, but I wanted to not bring a lot of products because I already bought a lot of makeup. So one thing I like to do that I've learned in the past is that Shaving cream can get expensive, and if you shave almost every day or every other day, it can get pretty pricey. So I ran out one day and I said, I'm going to use my conditioner. So I used my conditioner and I loved it. And I actually have been using the Suave Almond and Shea Butter Conditioner as a shaving cream. Um, and it works just as well as the other stuff, let me tell you. And look at this big honker. I think this was like three bucks at Target. So this has lasted me about a month or so for this. So. I love it and I already have something else to be using it. My next, what is it, hair care product, body, body product, hair care product, what ifs. So the next one is, um, I was going to get a haircut and I actually got a haircut and they did this tea tree oil experience on my hair and they said it was good for your hair if you have oily hair or just want to clarify your hair, do it like once a week. So they had a special and they had a special on the tea, tea tree special shampoo and Pretty much, to me, all this does is like clarify your hair. It's a clarifying shampoo. So like you can go to Target and get any clarifying shampoo. To me, it didn't seem like it did any much difference in the normal clarifying shampoo that I buy on a regular basis for my hair. So I won't be repurchasing this, but I do have a different clarifying shampoo that's way cheaper than this. The next thing is that I just picked this up um, this past week from Sally Beauty Supply. It is the one and only Argan Oil moisture repair conditioner and sorry the packaging is all crappy looking um i put the what you're supposed to do is shampoo your hair like any like normal and then condition it and instead of your conditioner that you normally use 
you would use this stuff and you just leave it in your hair. I used two packages just that because it says to saturate your hair and this was I believe was on sale at Sally's for 99 cents so I was there to pick something else up and this was at the register so I decided to try it. I'm a sucker. So I tried it and I love it. I let my hair air dry or blow dry and it becomes crazy soft um, from being really dry. I love it. So I only do it like once a week. I don't do it every time. So the last thing is a face product. Now I don't like to use a lot of face products on my face just because I feel that my skin gets really irritated and breaks out into tiny little bumps. It becomes kind of gross. So I have one cleanser that I use in the evening and two in the morning, one as a clarifying and one just like as a scrubber just to wake myself up. Um, so the one I use at night is, is pretty much empty. It's the Cleaning Clear Deep Action Cream Cleanser, oil free. Um, I used, I got this stuff just to try it, but to me this smells and feels like normal Noxzema if you guys have heard of it. So what I typically do is put it on my face and get a little scrubby pad and just gently scrub my face all over the place and it rains. But to be honest with you, I probably will be not be repurchasing this because I could probably buy the big tub of Noxzema for a cheaper price. So, what do you know? So those are my July empties. I hope you guys liked it and I hope you guys uh, will find some really good info out of everything that I showed you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!